Hi, welcome to this um, XFC system. So not on Plasma today, but on the flagship XFC Openbox i3. The thing is, um, since we're evolving, we need to update some of our articles on Article D, and the D stands for decide your desktop, right? The D, all explained in here. Um, but the point is that we have now these days, and I'm gonna change all these articles to a different layout. We have four options to install any desktop. Option one, install the desktop using Calamares. Option two, install the desktop using our scripts. Please reuse our scripts, right? Change it so they become your scripts, put them on GitHub, you have a backup. Or you can say, never mind, I'm gonna download Arclinux B, the ISO, and I'm gonna install it. Or even easier, if you have already any Arch Linux um, on your system, a control E, we can show that immediately, launches the tweak tool, and you just decide whether you want to have a different desktop on your system, an extra desktop on your system. All right, so I'm gonna go for, um, well, show you option one and option two. Option three is actually easily shown in the sense that basically you just need to download the ISO. It's coming either from Seedhost, which is which you pay actually for, right? So thank you for donations because Seedhost is not free. But Sourceforce itch is, so if you want to download it from here, it would be nice. Then the bandwidth will be spared a little bit. We could download here an XFCE, right? The XFCE and get it from this way. So Arclinux B 2011.9 is the latest version we have. This number is never correct. <laughs> Voila, never is. So a download from here as well, that's possible, but we're going to get uh, the Arclinux D. I'm not sure if I have it already, let's have a look. Maybe it's gonna be in my downloads. All right, cool. So I've done already a torrent in the past. So in the same way you can go for torrents, Arclinux D, and then download it. Thank you, by the way, for seeding. What does that mean? It means if you click on this thing, it's going to download it. And when everything is downloaded, then it's going to seed. So at this point in time, I'm now seeding to other people. So 22 people are seeding to have their computer open and they just leave it open, leave this application running. Which means if anybody needs a bit, and it's a very small bit, sometimes kilobytes, right? Bytes and kilobytes, they will upload it. So now I am a seeder, and when I click here or here, doesn't matter, I keep seeding. It's still there, QB. So at this point in time, I'm now uploading to the world. Anybody that needs a little piece of this ISO will get it from me. Let's see. All right, we're not talking about seeding, but hey, I need to have an ISO, right? So let's remove some stuff here. Latest, I'm gonna go for a clone. I'm gonna go for Arco Linux D and planning to install XFCE. Showing you option one and option two. And let's get optical drive and choose Arcmix D, open, double click. And off we go. Control F, do it now before it, you launch inside it. And then it will see, hey, I have 1920 pixels on 1080 pixels and it will adjust to a full screen. Settings are important. If you have an image, a small image of 800 on 600, hey, your virtual box settings are not okay. Take a look at the graphical driver, it needs to be VGA, V box SVGA, I think, right? Let's wait for the boot up. We're a live user here. And this is a minimal XFCE environment, just so we can be able to have a wallpaper and something to quit. And then there are options, right? There are, there's a welcome app that pops up. It depends where you live, but at this point in time on this ISO, if you take a look where the data is coming from, it's probably gonna be good for everybody, but I can't really be certain, right? 
So let's first get my Azerti in. Uzbek is for our core team and they are spread over the world, like from America to Japan, right? And it's always good. It seems to be the best, well, one of the best servers. So basically never update my Arch Linux mirrors, but you can if you think your uh, this server is not gonna be good. G part that is explained here as well. It's always a good idea to clean everything up. I hear so many different um, concoctions is not a word, but uh, system partitions that you hear, you have six operating systems on it. Don't make it too difficult for you. You'll run into issues, right? So Gpart that is, is a way to clean everything up, to, to delete partitions, and you need to select them, say delete it and then apply it, and then everything is gone. You start with a clean slate. Basically, that's what I do when I install Windows. It's what I do when I install Mac. It's what I do when I install Linux. But these days, with this particular version we have now, I never did it. So 48 times, 48 installations, I did not run Gparted, and I just trusted Calamars and without issues. This is 3.2.32.1 for future reference. So it's a work in progress. It's a free delivery system that's not from Arco Linux, but we endorse it, we help it uh, to improve it, and we love it because 15 minutes later, we have an operating system and we did not have to type in all these commands. If you ever went to phase five and do an Arch Linux installation, it's in the TTY, it's typing all the time, it's thinking, it's, it's figuring out how does it work on your hardware. In this case, we just click some buttons, which is easier. Choose your language, cool. American English is cool for me. And then it's deciding, deciding to have um, maybe you have issues with your system and uh, I don't know, the USB is not working, the webcam is not working, network is not working if you use this one. And you should use this one. That's entirely up to you. I would suggest don't do anything here, just install and see later, right? If everything works fine, then you know the Linux kernel works on your hardware. That's it, that's a cool, the best uh, Linux kernel in the sense it's the most recent uh, one for hardware. Bluetooth, laptop and so on, support you either want or not want. And this is also uh, necessary in the sense, hey, you need to have something to log you in, to welcome you to display manager. And normally we'd say, let's do a light DM. Next, and this is a video about XFCE which means I just select XFCE here and you see there's lots coming in, all right? And then um, we go on, so this is needed and all the rest is not really needed, right? You just decide later maybe or decide now what you want. Just know that if you select things, they will be downloaded and installed. So it will take more time to install applications or install uh, Arclix D, right? Because of the fact that you say, install me all this, right? Everything will be then also downloaded. S and, and a, a slow internet means a longer installation, means more patience. Just wait till everything is downloaded plus installed. Next, Brussels is good for me. Belgian, next. Manual partition or erase, no swap. Take a look at the slider here. That's a small partition. That's the big enough to go to hibernation. And that's swap to file. That's the newest. I'm gonna take the newest. So we're not having a partition. We're just having a file where Linux can put his data. All right. And off we go. Now, Either I do it like this. This would be, let's have a look, Control F, see I can get there. So back to the page, right? Install the desktop using Calamars. This is option one. Install the desktop using our scripts. I will show that later on. We've done this one and we've done this one. Okay, so let's move you over here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Control F again and next. 
So I'm showing you now option one. In other videos, I'm showing option two, and and so on. It's it's basically option two: get the scripts, run the scripts. It's a choice you have to make whether you want to be in full control. I would suggest you take option two, make your own scripts, and then you're in full control. Where do these scripts come from? Option two, from here. We are cloning a GitHub. Cloning means copy pasting from the internet. 100 means display. So let's have a look at the code a little bit. Just reading code. Oh, yeah, okay, except. So what it's, the, the scripting is not important. I mean, the, all these, this code is not important. It's just about install me this, install me that. So you want to have LightDM, you want to have Arclinks LightDM. It's tweaked. There's also a LightDM GTK greeter, not called Arclinux. And it's, yeah, the way it is, it's not nice, right? So we made our own Arclinux LightDM greeter with the settings, the wallpapers, XZ4, goodies. Logout is here and it's a bunch. It's a list that goes through it. So he's going to loop this thing and installing package number one, done, two, three, four, etc. We're going to make sure that it's Skelt. And if you don't know yet what Skelt is, so have a look. It's an alias. It's important to know this one. And then we enable LightDM since we fixed the choice here. We say we are going to use LightDM as greeter. And we are removing some stuff that we don't like and, and know that gives troubles. And that's it. And I say reboot your system, right? So it's a script you can reuse. It does the intention. The idea is, hey, um, the guys of Arch Linux and the beta testers want to have these packages. Why? Because we want to look something up. We want to edit something. We want to copy, uh, make a screenshot. We want to compare. We want to look up something. We want to chat with each other, chat with each other, record something, and take a picture. Simple as that. Just add more things to the list, and you install more packages. So this needs to be hopefully, uh, you reuse this script, and then decide. Okay, this sounds good because then I'm. In total control and you are you are in total control to add other editors other development packages right Kimp Inkscape Nomax not everybody is is a designer is working with pictures and SVGs right so delete the line it's not installed one another turned fine and so on still have to talk a little bit <laughs> almost installed but basically guys go and reuse this you see these things are working they're seven months old but they're working it doesn't matter how old they are it's just working and the people from arch linux we invite them to have a look at the tweak tool by well, sorry the arch linux spices application so we do not have any code anymore in here but we do have the explanation that hey guys go and have a look on the Arch Linux Spices application. And there is even a playlist so they can watch all the videos about Arch Linux Spices application, which is quite a lot of actually. It's downloaded 2,600 times, let's say. And um, let's have a look if this is still working. How many videos? I'm just quite curious to see how many videos we have 10 videos all about this particular application installed on Cinnamon, then on Deeping, and so on, and so on, and so on. Even set into S. <laughs> so, there you go. Let's see. All right. So, we've done, we've chosen to go for option one. As I look during, oh, watch out, Eric. Line three, boot existing OS, right? So, let me get me my mouse again. So we went here and we're showing you actually option one. Now, it might, might strike you strange that this thing is not working in the sense of, hey, it's broken. I get this uh, from time to time. People who did not watch the installation, oh, sorry, the installation video about now I am, okay. 
what you need to do, uh, you end up in a black login screen. So if you never read this text, then you may be surprised to say, okay, what's this? Why am I not having something graphical? This is Apple D, guys. You decide, right? The D stands for you decide what you take. Meaning, what did you take? Did you take LightGM? Did you take SDDM? Did you take GDM? There are four choices. And LXDDM. LXDM, right? So, I don't know what you chose. And the advice is, first type mirror. The idea being, maybe you're living in Japan, maybe you're living in Australia, maybe you're living in North America, maybe you're living in South America. Maybe you're living in Greenland. I don't know, right? So the idea is that we have here um, a, a list of um, new servers so that we have the idea of um, getting the fastest Arch Linux server around. That's one thing. Why? Because when we update, we get a fast download. That's the only reason why we do it. We hope to get a faster download because of it. Now, I'm afraid we'll see. Let's try this. Seems to be one bit falling off. So maybe I could I do better this, like so. Let's see. So, updating, right? And yeah, maybe there's a message there as well. <clears throat> People coming from other distributions will have the feeling, oh my God. Arch Linux is updating all the time. Hey, yeah, true. Nothing we can do about that. So we're always getting the very latest updates. Kernel updates. Oh my God, right? I don't know. We should count them by month. I mean, 10 kernels per month? More? It feels like more. So yes, we tend to get lots of updates in if that's a problem because you're on narrow band you have a slow internet maybe right maybe there are other linux operating systems out there for you remember the make init cpio it always takes a while for that to do its work. It has to do again with the kernel. Now we're updating our mirror list. So the fastest Arch Linux, not Arco, Arch Linux servers will be used. And then they say, well, if you did a mirror, if you did an update, then maybe you should tell us, well, the system, right? What do I need to enable? What did you choose? Did you choose SDDM? Did you choose GDM? Did you choose LXDM? No, you've installed LightDM. Enable it then, so that the system knows, hey, I should boot up with LightDM. And then they give the advice to do a scale. Well, this is XFCE, which is okay. And which is interesting you can sometimes enjoy a version arch linux look rather than an arco linux look right but with tiling window tiling window managers take care caution there because the configuration is often in the etc scale folder and needs to move to your folder and if you type well the wrong screen here if you type scale that's basically what it does it copy pastes alias, it copy pastes everything in etc scale to your home directory. I'm not going to do that because I want to show the XFCE look from Arch Linux, not Arch Linux, which is also good, right? Can be a new look and you might like it. Sudo reboot is the long version. We don't like to type SR. Let's maximize again boot existing OS. So he recognizes again my 2000, uh, sorry, 1920 and 1080. Mm -hmm. What did Arcanlinks produce? Well, no, we did not do anything, right? Remember ISO, this is the Arcanlinks D 
I sell. That's fun. The fun stuff is, I think, can be, at some point in time, Arklinks D. When you go and think, all right, how can I make it better? By installing one of our, how many was it? One of our 155 of them. Let's make it bigger. All right? Lots of packages, but what to use? Now, I can show you as well in this video, option number two. Remember, you can skip everything and, and start with these scripts. Git clone. What all you need to know is control C. Anybody can do control C. Open up a terminal, control shift V, and you've got it. CD, Arco, XFCE, LS, and then start running whatever you want to run, right? 100, 110, 120, basically, and with 800. Conky SH, and that's it. And then reboot. That's basically what we do. We provide scripts for you to have the, uh, well, the Arconlux feel. Okay? But as as now, as, as, it's, as, it, as it is now, there are no wallpapers, there are no icons, there are no themes. So this is the XFCE from Arch Linux, which is also can also be fun to look at and maybe to build it up again, because basically what we have, I always compare Arch Linux or Linux in general as a Lego box, right? And we have this this um, this base, this, this red square, and we put on bricks, we put on our Lego blocks. And basically, we are building it up. And that's, that's, this is it, right? You build this up and decide to install this and decide to install that because I don't have a browser. I don't have nothing. So, sudo admin minus s Firefox would be a good idea. And that's how you go on and go on and go on. Now, in this case, Firefox was installed due to the fact that I selected the la latest one. Remember the, ve the, the developer's uh, module there. So other things then, I don't know, sudo pacman minus s vivaldi can be just installed. It's not coming from us anymore. Take a look. It has been accepted to the Arch Linux repo. Right, cool, right? So thankfully they understood that vivaldi is actually a great browser. And off we go. Yeah, sure, yes, 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 yes. And it's a work in process now. It's it's gonna be fun. It, you know, you'll you'll spend some hours in it and maybe days, maybe weeks, but it can be fun. All right, that's from that's it for me. I mean, you have uh, four options to install any desktop, and Arclinks D is where we started. Now we've done number option one, and we've shown also option two, and option three is then install the ISO with Arclinux B. And do not forget a simple button. Well, which actually we can also show you here, a simple button, which is not installed, Ctrl Alt E, right? Not working. We can always install sudo pacman minus s Arclinux tweet tool. and say, I like it, I like it a lot. It's already installed because of the fact eh, the selection in Calamaris. But the Ctrl Alt E, keyboard shortcuts are not present. There's lots of things not present. Like, uh, it's not gonna open. No, I pr guess I need to click here. Yeah. So custom actions, workflow, none, zero, no workflow. So lots of things are still missing. But um, never mind, there is a Stewie tool. We can get it somehow somewhere, I don't know where we put it, where the system puts it. Here it is, Arclinx Tweak Tool. You can always launch it from the terminal, which is also a good thing if, if it won't load. Any application out there on Linux, if it won't load, the only thing you need to do is run it, start it from a terminal. Maybe it will show you something. That is the latest and the newest. And we can say, let's install DWM. And we have DWM installed. And then we log out, log out, and then we go to DWM. And we have a fun 
with DWM, right? It's a great freedom that we provide you and I hope you like it. All right, cheers. Oh, right, found my button, cheers.